As the internet is evolving, learn more about Web3, how it differs from Web 2.0, and the different job opportunities in this field. Since the rise of the web in the 1990s, the internet has been an evolving space. What started as a repository for information turned into a place where people seek answers to questions, connect with others, and share knowledge. Today, the internet continues to develop, and its most recent incarnation is being referred to as Web3. Welcome to this Crypto Lab channel. Watch the full video to learn more about Web3.0. Web3 Explained Web3 is a term used to describe the next stage in the internet's development. One of Ethereum's co-founders introduced the term in 2014 as he shared a vision for a decentralized version of the internet that lessens the influence of the corporations that tended to dominate Web 2.0, namely Meta, Amazon, and Google. In this version of the internet, users do not need to log into an account on a platform like Google or Twitter to access information. They also have greater control over their data instead of sharing it with companies that monetize personal information. The result is an interactive internet experience that gives people more ownership and privacy regarding their data. History of the web so far To understand how Web3 works and why it's poised to change the way people interact online, it helps to learn the history of the web. You can divide the internet into two distinct periods called Web 1.0 and Web 2.0. Web 1.0 dates back to the early 1990s. This version of the internet featured static web pages coded in HTML. It created an open and decentralized place where users could search for and find information through browsers like Netscape and Internet Explorer. This version of the internet introduced sites like WebMD, where they could look up medical conditions and symptoms, and GeoCities that let users create web pages in online neighborhoods. Web 2.0 By the decade's end, people began seeing the internet as more than an online encyclopedia. The rise of blogging sites, forums, and wikis gave users places to share information and connect with other people. This ushered in Web 2.0, which rose to prominence in the early to mid-2000 seconds. Technology companies leveraged the power of social media to develop an infrastructure that allowed a small number of companies to wield power. These companies include Meta, Twitter, Google, and Amazon. How does Web3 work? Web3 works by combining the decentralization of Web 1.0 with the interactiveness of Web 2.0 in a user-friendly interface. Ideally, it gives users more control over their online experience and increased security through blockchain technology. Artificial intelligence, machine learning, and natural language programming also play critical roles by mimicking how humans identify patterns and communicate through words and symbols. Advantages of Web3 it offers greater control over personal data and decentralized data storage. Many of these advantages stem from its decentralized structure, which shifts internet control from big tech companies to those who use it. For example, Web 2.0 users must log into a platform to access, share, or interact with content. The platform ultimately controls who can join and how they interact with others. It can remove users or limit what they can do on the platform. Web3 gives this control to the community, which can then self-govern the content and the people sharing it. How to get involved in Web3 You can get involved in Web3 by working for or using applications that already operate under Web3 principles. These companies tend to operate within the technology sector and offer services like networking, facilitating cryptocurrency transactions, and developing software and infrastructure solutions. Helium Systems, Coinbase Global, and Huddle operate in the Web3 market. Skills you need to work in Web3 The skills and education you need to work in Web3 vary. For example, a front-end Web3 developer may need skills like UX experience and programming languages. However, a Web3 marketer may rely on a different skill set that can include communication and data analysis. Subscribe to our channel to keep up with new content. Your support and feedback are much appreciated.